makes me want to move to another city. I don't, I mean, <laughs> it's no way to live in fear all the time. San Francisco residents reacting to recent attacks and murders in that city, some moving out of the city. Let's welcome to the show Fraternal Order of Police National VP Joe Gamaldi. Joe, it's always great to see you. Um, let's just dig into this right here because um, the former San Francisco fire commissioner was beaten by a homeless man with a metal pipe. And I have to warn you all that this video is very, very graphic and disturbing to watch. We are going to play it. The attack took place in broad daylight outside his mother's home in the scenic um, Marina District, leaving the former fire commissioner with serious head injuries. It took place just one day after we saw that stabbing of the tech executive, Bob Lee, as well. Joe, I want to get your reaction to this because it is, it, it is horrifying to watch this. It's yeah, absolutely terrible. I mean, San Francisco has been in decline for years, and frankly, the city's a hellhole now. I mean, murders are up there 36% since 2019. Property crimes are through the roof to the point where people don't even call anymore because they know nothing's going to be done. And they actually have an app to track where people are defecating in the street in San Francisco. And these high profile cases of this commissioner being brutally beaten in the street, mm. of the cash app owner Bob Lee being murdered, are just a stark reminder to everyone of just how bad it has gotten in San Francisco. But there's countless other victims that we're not even aware of because they don't make the news. But yeah. the fact of the matter is things aren't going to get better there. They're down over 335 police officers. But don't worry, folks, you know, council's got a plan to bring in officers over the next five years. Well, here's an idea. Maybe if you hadn't treated your cops like crap over the last few years, you wouldn't be in the predicament you find yourself in. Yeah, and it sounds a lot like New York City, too, because uh, the plan cameras and subway stations over the course of the next five years, you know, Governor Hochul's idea, that's not really helping the current situation, the situation right now. And when it comes to Bob Lee, that tech executive, I think about the fact that he was out roughly around 2 a.m. when all of this happened. He went over to somebody, begged them for help. We're not necessarily sure why they refuse to help him, but I think some people are afraid to get involved um, because they fear for their own safety as well in situations like this. I mean, it's just become untenable in some of these cities to the point that it's driven thousands of people um, to move elsewhere. Yeah, you're absolutely right, because when you embrace these revolving door criminal justice policies like these far left Democrats have, you absolutely destroy your city. Businesses move away. Residents move away. It destroys your tax base. Take San Francisco. They're at an $800 million budget shortfall because everyone is leaving in droves. And people need to understand that this is not sustainable. A flight out of there, and we have to turn this around. Otherwise, we are going to lose our cities for a generation. And it's not just about crime, Joe. It's also about the homeless. You mentioned the app, um, you know, where people can track what's going on in San Francisco with regarding the homeless situation and defecation. Yesterday, I was walking home from this building. I saw a man. Um, he appeared to be overdosed on some sort of drugs. He was lying on the street in a pile um, a, a, in, in his own urine. I mean, it, it just really is so disturbing, even as I'm, I'm recounting this to you, and so sad to watch. There were people, you know, around him. Um, they had called for help. But having said that, I remember New York City a decade ago, and it just, it wasn't like this. It's a shell of itself now post-pandemic. Yeah, and the frustrating part is we know how to fix this. We can embrace broken windows theory. We can vehemently prosecute violent crime. But yet, while we're trying to do some of these things to clean up these cities, we have a Melvin Bragg who is a complete joke. And while he goes against his crusade against Donald Trump, he has downgraded felonies by the right. tune of 51%, and he has a putrid prosecution rate of only 50%. He's a complete mess, and now that city's suffering. Yeah, he puts the criminals right on the street. Joe Gamaldi, thank you so much. Good to see you. Thank you.